So, thing in Boston happened. Um, I'm not really sure what to say about it. I mean, because it's like, when is enough going to be enough? Uh, what does the Boston Marathon have anything to do with patriotism when it's people from all over the world that participate in it? So how is it an attack on the U.S.? Or is it just the fact that it's on U.S. soil that makes it an attack on the U.S.? If it's even part of a you know, terrorist uh, attack cell, you know, terrorist cell from the Middle East or anything, you know. But, on the other hand, it could be a homegrown terrorist, and you got schmutz in your face. <gasps> nope, that didn't work. Ah. Uh, maybe. Seems better. Um, but, yeah, it's a... Uh, and a child died. Uh, you know... What do you... What, what is there to say about it? I mean, the media has already done said everything. I mean given all the facts that they have apparently and and of course there's going to be those cons uh, conspiracy theorists that come out and say it's part of uh, Obama's plan to do s something uh, <laughs> the real nature of what happened is going to be twisted from every different angle the fact of the matter is people died people got seriously injured more may continue to die from the injuries. And innocent people who are just running a marathon have. A, oh my god. Just how can you justify it? Like, I just got done watching Alphas. And it's a sci-fi show about people with superpowers and whatever, and they're called alphas. And anyways, there's this evil guy who, well, who's evil, who thinks that sacrificing the life, the lives of millions will eventually save the lives of billions. But how? How do you know... How do you know that sacrificing lives is going to work? How can you even begin to predict that sacrificing anybody's life is going to get your point across? All you do is create vengeance when you do something like that. People who are going to want to attack back and who are going to want revenge. That's not getting your point across. Unless your point is that we all want revenge for things. Then I guess that gets your point across in a ridiculously retarded way that people already know. You know, vengeance and you know, revenge, vengeance, whatever is a thing. I, I just, oh man. I think I'm just, I'm just gonna, yeah. Because I can't gather my thoughts correctly, and I've looked like enough of an idiot today by talking about this, but it's on my mind, it's on the media, and it's the only thing going on right now. So, uh, other than personal life drama, which I can't really, can't necessarily talk about. Oh, I want to talk about it. Oh, God, I want to talk about it. But I can't because it affects more than just me. So, uh, see, that's the hard thing. That's the most difficult part about doing this is because, you know, so many 
There's so many things I want to talk about. But it involves so many other people and so many other people's privacy and everything like that. And it makes it really hard to talk about things in my life and to vlog my life because my mom doesn't want to be on camera. And so it's hard for me to just walk around the apartment and talk and ramble and just be funny and be myself in situations because I'm like one of those people. I'm funny when I'm talking to other people. I'm socially funny. By myself, I'm just another person. So that's what makes this whole situation hard. But I don't know. I'll figure something out. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thoughts, best wishes, and positive vibes and everything being sent your way, Boston. And everybody affected. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that wonderful stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.